Ann entered the world of motorsport last year and raced in the Lotus Cup. This season she made the very bold step into the world of the Porsche Carrera Cup and we'll be following her progress. So stay tuned for all of the most up-to-date interviews and information from Tanya and her team. Tanya, how are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. Good. Um, tell me, last weekend was Brands, so how was qualifying for you? Um, the qualifying was just amazing. Uh, the weekend went so perfectly for me. We had the free practice on Friday, yep. and I got the best time in class that day. So that was really, really positive. And how did that feel? And this is your first race of the season. Yeah, I mean, I was really overjoyed. I didn't expect to, um, to do so well, and I think the team were just so chuffed when I came in, and you know, my team lead came running down and said, guess what? Tim Harvey, who is uh, Tiny Man's mentor and race coach, really. Uh, we spoke to you just before Brands Hatch, mm. um, which was last weekend. What were your thoughts on Tiny's progress? Well, I think she did fantastically. She surprised a lot of people and herself as well. Um, I mean, her goal was to prove to herself that she belonged in Carrera Cup, that she wasn't going to embarrass herself. Mm -hmm. And she more than did that. She was uh, very quick in her class in the free practice on uh, Friday and then had two pole positions in qualifying for the class. And, you know, she didn't need to do any more on the weekend to prove to everybody that she was quick enough to, to be on the grid. Tim worked hard with you. We spoke to you before. Did you have his voice in your head when you're going round? Yeah, I mean, in terms of um, some of the, the corners and things like that, because I'm quite new to racing, I'm not as familiar with the circuits as other people are, so I'm still getting to grips with the best lines yeah. and things like that, and also how to drive the car. So I've had a very steep learning curve um, in terms of getting the most out of the car and, and there is a, a technique to driving them you've really got to particularly in the slower corners you know one thing I used to do was just try and fly through the corners and you actually really need to slow these cars talking through the races and the first race fantastic you know she finished which is what her goal was anyway um, it was a brilliant second place which seemed like a almost above expectation result for her yeah, I mean, the important thing in the first race was to stay out of trouble, complete 34 laps, which is a very long physical race distance, especially from a concentration point of view, because at Brands there's no respite from concentrating. And um, she had one small problem in the race, made a couple of small errors, uh, but really, it, you know, it was a great first race. Oh, I was so nervous. Um, How is it when you're starting off, you're on the grid, how are you feeling? I, I really, I was, I was very excited, like I was dying to go because the whole point of what we're doing is, is you know, to race cars, that. that's why I'm here. But, um, you know, that first race on, on a grid with such amazing drivers in such quick cars yeah. on, you know, with some very, very precarious corners. Um, I was nervous, you know, I can't deny that I wasn't, but, um, you know, my aim wasn't to go out and, be aggressive or anything like that really for the first few weekends i want to just finish races that's my aim is yeah. to just finish races okay so second place in race one fantastic results so talk to me about race two there are a couple of shunts lots of things happened in race two yeah there's a bit of action um obviously the first race came second which i was pleased with of course second race um will goff just tried to come up on the inside there i had the, my line and it was probably a slightly aggressive move and it just caused a little bit of a bump, fortunately. It didn't seem to affect your game too much No, we, it was kind of okay. We both managed to just drive on and nothing was too damaged, so it didn't um, prevent us from finishing the race. But yeah, they're the kind of things I want to try and avoid hopefully going forward. One of the difficulties for a novice is actually to put mistakes and incidents that happen on track out of your mind. And you're right, she had a bit of an incident with Will Goff up at the, at yeah. the, um, the hairpin, which I don't think was her fault at all. Lap 19, unfortunately just went into paddock a little bit too fast and uh, I spun and went into the gravel so that was the end of the race. It's just experience and time in the seat and you know my aim going into that race weekend um, 
was to finish the race. So I didn't quite do that, but you know, with the first the first race was quite successful and you know, I think with the times that I got in, in qualifying, I'm absolutely over the moon and you know, I feel really positive and looking forward to the next race weekend. So we're at Thruxton today, but the next race at Thruxton isn't for a while, so why today? Yeah, Thruxton's um, one of a few circuits in the UK which has restrictions on noise, which means that they can't hold more than two days in a row of noise. It's it's somewhat frustrating to the, the racing yeah. community, I guess, and I don't know this circuit at all. Today is my only opportunity. It is difficult because for an amateur driver they need to repeat as often and as quickly as possible what they've just learnt because otherwise it goes out of their mind and unfortunately the next time Tanya drives Thruxton will be in timed qualifying. There's no more practice available. So that's quite a difficult thing to do when you've then been to another circuit in the meantime, Donington Park. So Tanya, we spoke earlier about today's test day at Thruxton mm -hmm. and how are you getting on now? You've been out twice. Yep, um, it's um, the whole way. It's quick, and that first session, I was petrified. <laughs> yeah, was it scary was, going out the first oh, time? I really, I took it slow. A couple of nasty corners at Thruxton. How are you handling them? The, yeah, there's there's quite a few scary ones. Mm. They're extremely quick, and you can't see the apex, and you really are yeah. just. You're, you're aiming at them with the faith that you know that I've been there before and somewhere around there is an apex, you know, and then when you're exiting, again, you can't see anything and you're meant to be on the power and you're telling yourself, I know there is some yeah. track out there. <laughs> so um, she's had her second practice really. She went out and did well first practice. Second practice, how much has that improved? Yeah, hugely. I mean, she went three seconds quicker in right. second practice without doing anything particularly different, just letting her familiarization with the circuit allow her to drive faster but at the same level of if you like stress because we're trying to keep the stress level behind the wheel down so that the time right. just comes naturally what expectations do you have for the third practice um, well she's on some better tires now um, I think if she could get a time in the sort of high 18s that would be a really good achievement. It's about 120s now, isn't it? About 120 and a half at the moment, but a high 18 would be a really good time. Um, you know, she could come back at, it, with confidence then, having looked at last year's times, that she's going to be competitive. And uh, we can look at some films, some data, and hopefully improve the driving of it. What are your expectations for, for Donington itself for that race? Main thing again is to be competitive in the class and to finish both races and deal with any of the incidents that are bound to come up with a cool head and um, uh, you know get two finishes.